All right, the breaking news coming in. The BJP announces new parliamentary board, new 11-member parliamentary board uh, has been announced by the BJP. Yadirapa has been included in the parliamentary board. The rejig is amid the infighting in the Karnataka BJP. BJP's tallest southern leader has been included in the top party board. So the BJP has announced a new parliamentary board and the new board is going to have 11 members. And uh, my colleague uh, Samia is joining us uh, on the phone line for more on this. Uh, Samia, what more details are we picking up? Well, this is a very crucial uh, parliamentary board that has been constituted. Uh, all political parties have got a central parliamentary board and an election campaign committee also for that matter that looks very, very carefully into the issues that are being picked up by the parliamentarians inside the House, how they try to project their views on the given subject matter, and also how they try to campaign given the same issues in the election committee. Now, what is interesting over here is that this new committee that has been constituted by uh, the BJP president, uh, uh, J.P. Nadda. It doesn't have the names of uh, Shivraj Chauhan and Nitin Gadkari, who which were uh, part of the uh, committee earlier on. Now, there are new names that are included like that of Yadurappa, but by and large, the name constitutes of uh, the BJP president, of course, has to be a part of this committee since he holds the post of being the party president. Uh, J.P. Nadda and there's uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, there is Rajnath Singh, there is uh, Amit Shah, there is Yadurappa, there is Sarvanand Sonowal, there is K. Lakshman, there is Iqbal Singh Lalpura, there is Srimati Sudha Yadav, there is Satyanarayan Jatia, there is Bhupendra Yadav, there is Devendra Fadnavis, there is Om Mathur and um, B.L. Santosh and uh, Vanti Srinivas. So these are the names of 15 members who are part of the parliamentary board of the uh, BJP per se. But the two important names that do not find itself in this list are that of Nitin Gadkari and also of uh, Shivra Chauhan. Now, what is interesting over here is definitely the fact that it... Uh, uh, highlights that there could be a case of internal party issues. There could be internal rivalry. There could be some internal friction uh, because of which such important name. Because Nitin Gadkari holds a very, very important portfolio and Shivaj Singh Johan is definitely the chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. So how could their names be dropped is the question. There are going to be questions raised on this, especially uh, the opposition parties are going to be picking this up because the BJP has often called out the Congress and the other opposition party for having internal party rifts. And now that seems to be taking a center stage in the BJP itself. And these are important names. So when these names are dropped, it becomes something to notice. People are going to raise an eyebrow about it. Uh, it's not for the BJP to explain now why these names were in, uh, excluded, why certain names were included. Uh, because uh, knowing the BJP is the top brass, they do not really carry out any of this decision without having any vision in place. They definitely must have had some plan in place because of which these names have been dropped and certain names have been included. Because remember, there are four state elections coming up next. And that's the reason why perhaps Yadirappa has been included. The Karnataka elections are going to be taking place next year. And uh, definitely, there is a case where the BJP will be looking at specific issues that are to be taken up by the parliamentary board of the BJP. And thereby, the same issues have to be furthered uh, in the case of the elections when they're going into assembly elections in different states. Uh, BJP will have to do an explaining so far. Even Shah Nabaz Hussain has been dropped, is what we're given to understand. So this is definitely huge, that as far as uh, the Central Election Committee is concerned, while Nitin Gadkari is ousted, so is Shah Nabaz Hussain, and also for that matter, uh, uh, Shivra Singh Johan. So we have to wait and see how the BJP we're going to react to it. And these are the 15 names that are now going to be assuming very, very important role in the BJP in the days ahead, especially in the election-going state, because the BJP as its machinery works at the grassroots level with finesse, and they do not let go of any opportunity to try and bring up as far as uh, the issues that have been discussed in the parliament to make it a national issue for the upcoming as assembly elections. Right, Samia, many thanks for taking us through all those details.